I'm Eric Silberg, Director of the Unmanned Aerial Systems Lab here at NSWC Carter Rock Division. My lab develops Unmanned Aerial Systems, UAS, for the Maritime Mobility Mission of Carter Rock. That means that we're looking at small aircraft, launch and recovery on Navy boats and ships, and how our Marines and sailors are going to use this technology in the future. What we're doing today is that we're flying some small aircraft in our mask, maneuvering in Sea Keeping Basin, uh, and we're looking at assessing this facility for future developmental testing of small aircraft. We have a collection of different aircraft that we're going to use to look at swarming capabilities and teaming with vessels in the mask using motion capture technology to investigate teaming behaviors and multi-domain operations. We just completed our first flight here in the mask. We were looking at assessing the facility for its aerodynamic properties and for telemetry command and control. This facility is important because it's a large indoor volume that gives us a controlled environment to do a variety of testing. And we have other facilities here at Carter Rock for the same, for the same kind of testing. We have our wind tunnels, the David Taylor model basin, and the rotating arm. We are, we are planning to use this facility in the future for multi-domain testing. These are aircraft that can fly in the air, but then land on the surface of the water, move around, and even submerge and operate underwater. Another function of our lab is to provide aircraft support for any branch here at Carter Rock. Um, a lot of different tests could benefit from the use of drones, and we're going to be able to provide those capabilities for any test in any branch in the future. We're really excited to continue growing our new UAS lab, developing new capabilities for Carter Rock and technologies for the Navy.